Good morning dear students. I am Sudharani and today we are going to learn a topic from the chapter 1 of class 10 biology that is nutrition, the food supplying system. In this chapter, the following topics are covered. Types of nutrition that is autotrophic and heterotrophic, role of water, air, light, chlorophyll in photosynthesis, followed by its mechanism, followed by nutrition in human beings and diseases due to malnutrition and vitamin deficiency. And today we are dealing the first two topics that is types of nutrition and role of the elements in photosynthesis. Let us understand the term nutrition. The process of providing or obtaining food which is necessary for growth and health is called nutrition. Already in our lower classes we learned about the nutrients called carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals which they help us to grow, they give us energy and they protect our body from diseases. All these are essential components of food which help us to grow, repair our worn out tissues and keeps our body temperature constant. Now, a large variety of substances are taken as food from unicellular organisms like amoeba to the highly developed multicellular organisms like human beings. The mode of acquiring food is also varies from cell to cell and from organism to organism. Now coming to the types of nutrition. There are two types of nutrition that is autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. In the autotrophic nutrition, first of all, what do you mean by autotrophs? Auto means self and nutrition means food. Auto means self, trophic means food. So in the autotrophic mode of nutrition, the organisms prepare their own food. And again, it is further classified into two types that is photoautotrophic and chemoautotrophic. So photoautotrophic the name itself is indicating that photo means light. So it is prepared in the presence of sun. Example green plants and in chemoautotrophic it is prepared in the presence of the food is prepared in the presence of chemicals. Example purple bacteria and sulfur bacteria. Now coming to the heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Hetero means others. Troph means food. So organisms which depend on others for food is called heterotrophic mo heterotrophs and this mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic mode of nutrition and it is subdivided into three categories that is saprophytic mode of nutrition, holozoic mode of nutrition and parasitic mode of nutrition which we will discuss in detail in our further classes. Now coming to the next part of the lesson that is photosynthesis which consists of two words. Photo means light and synthesis means to prepare. All the plants prepare the complex organic substances from simple inorganic substances like water, carbon dioxide, light energy and chlorophyll. Here. The plants acquire water from soil, the roots absorb the water from the so soil and they take the carbon dioxide from the atmospheric air and light energy from the sun and chlorophyll from the leaves which is present in them. The process of photosynthesis is very complex. There are several steps in it and several intermediary compounds are formed. Scientists try to formulate a simple equation for about 200 years and finally in 1931 a scientist called C.B. Van Nail proposed a simple equation for photosynthesis in the following way. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll 
gives rise to carbohydrate water and oxygen co2 plus h2o in the presence of sunlight by using solar energy gives rise to ch2o that is carbohydrate plus h2o that is water and oxygen his opinion was for each molecule of carbohydrate formed one molecule of water and one molecule of oxygen is produced later scientists proposed much detailed equation for photosynthesis that what we are widely using now that is carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light by using chlorophyll they form glucose that is c6h12o6 plus and gives out water and oxygen and whatever this glucose is prepared that is utilized by the plants for their metabolic activities and the excess glucose is stored in the form of starch plants also capable of synthesizing all other compounds like proteins fats etc hence called autotrophs and among all the life processes the process of photosynthesis makes the plants universal food providers as they are providing food to the living beings all the living beings on this earth directly or indirectly hence plants are called universal food providers so already we learnt that the starch is stored in the leaves so to test the starch we can perform a small activity what we call it as starch test and for that you have to pluck a soft thin leaf from a plant and which is well exposed to sunlight put the leaf in a test tube which contains methylated spirit and place the test tube in a beaker which contains water and this arrangement is called water bath we should not directly heat the test tube which contains methylated spirit because it is highly inflammable and it catches fire hence we have to arrange the test tube in a beaker which contains water now boil the leaf till it becomes pale white due to the removal of chlorophyll the leaf becomes pale white now take it take out the leaf carefully from the test tube by using a brush and spread the leaf in a petri dish now add two or three drops of iodine or betadine solution on it and the leaf turn into blue black color which indicates the presence of starch in this way we can prove that starch is present in the leaves now let us see how it is done in the laboratory we need a leaf boiling water alcohol iodine solution test tube spirit lamp take a leaf from a plant that has been exposed to sunlight for several hours place the leaf in boiling water this will kill the leaf disrupt the cell membrane and soften the cell walls allowing the iodine to enter the cells and react now put the leaf in a test tube and cover it with alcohol keep the test tube in the boiling water the chlorophyll slowly dissolves into the alcohol note that alcohol turns green the removal of chlorophyll will help us observe the color change of iodine clearly
Place the bleached leaf in a petri dish. Pour iodine solution over it. Note the color of the leaf. It changes to dark green. This is because iodine combines with starch present in the leaf and forms a violet colored complex. This shows that starch is present in leaves. So, dear students, today we have learnt about what is nutrition and the types of nutrition, particularly about autotrophic mode of nutrition and the elements required for photosynthesis like carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll and sun energy and how to test the presence of starch in a leaf. Thank you.